Yo, Tevin, if you got time, you should tell your best story and I'll make it a make a story time edit. Hey, chat, chat, stop the music. Everybody, chat, did you see what Cole just said? He said, if I have time, I should tell my best story and he'll make a story time edit. I'm going to get in trouble for telling this. I had this one girl. Let's call her, let's call her Jessica Beal because for some reason that girl's on my mind. This was my junior year in college. And at the time I worked as a gas station manager. One of our workers didn't come in that night. And so I had to work a double shift. And so we were open 24 hours. I was the only person working at the gas station. It was a Saturday night. I didn't want to be there, but you know, responsible man's got to make responsible moves. Now, it was a common occurrence on late Saturday nights or on late nights in the weekend for Jessica Beal to hit me up. She'd say, hey, what are you doing? Today, I was working. So I was like, hey, I'm working. I know what she wants. She wants to slam bang that thing. I said, hey, look, I'm at work. I have to work a double. One of our people didn't come in. If you want to slam bang that thing, you'll just have to wait. She did not like this. She said, Tevin, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I've been drinking tonight at the bar and I am unequivocally horny. <laughs> she said, we are reaching Austin Powers levels of horny. Yeah, baby. I said, look, ma'am, madam, if you are truly about it and you'd like to put my pig in the blanket, then we can have sex in this gas station. I don't care. I'm down to clown but you have to wait until it's completely empty and i'm for certain that no one will be showing up she said okay what time do i come over i said it's usually empty at about 2 30 to 3 a.m nobody's there um anytime after three people start showing up for their morning shifts or their late night shifts she said all right that was at like midnight i don't think she's gonna show up i thought she was just gonna get even more drunk pass out and forget the whole thing even happened. Two hours and 30 minutes later, I get a text. She says, I'm on my way and Uber is coming to get me. Preparations must be made. Because I'm the only person in the store, there's this thing that I do when I have to unload the truck from if, if there was an overnight truck or something like that, I would take the key, I would lock the door and I would put up all the merchandise so that somebody couldn't come in and steal things while I wasn't paying attention. She shows up, she comes in, I take the key and I lock the door to the gas station. No one's getting in, no one's getting out. I actually, I forgot to tell this the last time I told the story, but we sold condoms. I just took a, I just took a pack of condoms off the wall and she's like, where are we supposed to go? We have cameras all over the store, all over the store. I said, go in the back. It was a storage area that had one little area where there was no camera in it. And I look around and I make sure that the cameras are like positioned to where you couldn't have seen her go in. I go back there and uh, I've never done this before. As cool as I was playing it, I had no idea what to do next. So I was just like, all right, drop them draws, I suppose. <laughs> She gets absolutely naked. I just, I just like undo my bottoms because I have, you know, if someone were to come in or to be knocking or something happens, I gotta, I have to, I, I, I gotta have quick action. I gotta, I gotta zip my thing up and, and go back to it. So we, you know, it's go time. And uh, here's something you guys might not know about me. I'm a, I'm a laster, uh, and it takes me a while to, uh, well, you know, <laughs> it takes me a while to get going. So my biggest fear was it would take too long for me to uh, to, sp to to spit facts at her, to, to put it mildly. So I am turbo thrusting. I am like a slap chop. I'm giving it all I got. My, my ass is cramping up from the sheer force. I was KO Ken times 10 on that rear end, bars. And she was like, she was like, what, slow down. Thankfully, or unthankfully depending on how you're looking at it it only took me about five minutes i severely overestimated <laughs>
I severely overestimated myself in that moment. I get done, I give her a pat on the back, pull up my drawers, go outside, unlock the door. I just stop. I just go back to working. Like I did not even know that she was there. And she leaves and she's like, oh, my uh, Uber's here. Dips out. I quit that job eventually. And on the day that I quit the job, I told my manager, I was like, hey, yeah, by the way, I had sex in the back room. I hope that's, I hope we're cool. I hope we're cool on that. And he was like, what? No fucking way. And I thought he was going to get mad. He wasn't even mad at all. He just started telling his own sex stories. He was like, yeah, uh, my wife used to work at an Arby's and we would go in there and we would fuck. So we were just laughing about it. I said the same thing, Cole. I said, man, Arby's got that. He was giving her that shmeat. That's the time I cranked one out in the, in the gas station. I almost felt like I let her down, you know what I mean? But I was trying to get a PB, you know what I mean? I nutted in five minutes and I was like, you were here, world record pace. <laughs>